Remember Celtic fans singing You'll Never Walk Alone? and raising Palestine flags. It was a huge show of support in addition to being a heavy risk from the club's biggest supporters considering it was banned from ever taking place from the get-go by the board. <laughs> For reference, this is who we will be talking about, the Green Brigade. Days after Celtic's most loyal fan group planned the flag waving, the hammer has come down on them. Ironically, Celtic Football Club would say this ban had nothing to do with the flag waving, rather they claim unacceptable behavior by the Green Brigade. At the end of the day, they will be missed. Them fans in the corner will be missed. They, they raised the level of atmosphere in the stadium, folks. Them, the boys, race level of atmosphere. Via the 42, an email leaked on social media shows Celtic cited repeated incidents of unacceptable conduct involving the Green Brigade group. The ban is pending further review and communication with the fans' group. The move comes not long after the Green Brigade was banned by the club from attending away matches. It's just another kind of layer of 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 complexity on this relationship this 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 goes back a long 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 way it goes back to the green brigade singing about the ira many many years ago peter lawwell the then chief executive briefly banned them from the stadium celtic park that is then they were brought back in again. A spokesperson for Celtic would tell Sky Sports to avoid any misunderstanding. The progressive steps taken by the club over a period of time are as a result of an increasingly serious escalation in unacceptable behaviors and non-compliance with applicable regulations at matches at Celtic Park and away grounds over a period of time, which are creating serious safety concerns and other issues. End of the day. Yes. The club don't want to be fined by UEFA. The club don't want the SFA to step in and say, well, okay, this Palestinian flags in, in your stadium needs to stop because in England, that clamping down on it and it's gonna be the same here. One can make the argument it's an act of resistance with many voices behind the cause. After all, when a steward at Anfield carried out orders to remove a fan wearing a Palestine hoodie, not a soul stepped in. For Celtic, they are weary of receiving more fines. Currently, the Green Brigade's ban is pending a review. Many are hoping talks with the club result in a positive outcome. A lot of Celtic fans think they're great, some other Celtic fans think they're trying to hijack the, the atmosphere in the stadium. Um, there's a lot of conflicting opinions on the Green Brigade. A likely reason for their support of Palestine is the club's rich history. They were founded in 1887 and played its first game in 1888 to raise funds for the relief of the poor Irish who had gathered in the east end of Glasgow. When they arrived in the city, they initially faced resentment, discrimination, and squire. Every time Celtic won a game, their suffering was eased a little. In 2016, supporters with the Green Brigade, like they did in their Champions League match against Atletico Madrid, blew Palestine flags in another U CL game, this time against an Israeli club. They were fined for doing so. Celtic! Thank you for your solidarity. We love you, Celtic. Thank you, Celtic. Thank you for all the people who support Palestine. I love Celtic. To all Celtic fans, 
and the Green Brigade's much love from Palestine. The Legis Center in Bethlehem was on the receiving end of an organizing effort by the brigade. After the fines came in in 2016, they started a GoFundMe. They had a simple goal, match the fine. Instead, it surpassed 176,000 pounds, and they donated the funds to the Medical Aid Palestine and the Legis Center, wrote Michael Moore and Jack Conlon, formed in 2006 and building on the anti-fascist work of TAL magazine from the 90s, the Green Brigade echoes European ultra groups in its visually stunning banners and its displays of solidarity at Parkhead with a range of left-wing causes, from Palestine to LGBTQ plus rights. They are deemed one of the most left-wing clubs in the world. The Athletic would write, in 2020, the group took to the streets of Glasgow to add alternative street names to roads that had been named after wealthy Scots who owned plantations overseas, instead plastering names such as Rosa Parks, Joseph Knight, and George Floyd in the wake of the latter's death, saying they were, quote, celebrating those who fought against slavery. Songs about pro-Irish unity in the Irish War of Independence are played at Celtics home games, such as Grace, the Fields of Athenry, and This Land is Your Land, and the club regularly marks the Irish famine with a logo on the players' shirts. They also proudly showed support for Ukraine last year. Still, the club claims the following transgressions via the BBC. The widespread and unsafe use of pyrotechnics at Fire Nord on September 19th. Rushing turnstiles enforcing open fire exits at Far Park, Motherwell on the 30th of September. Illegally gained access to Celtic Park in advance of the match against Lazio on October the 4th to bring in an unauthorized banner. Plus, violent and intimidating behavior towards stewards at Easter Road, Edinburgh on October the 28th.